So let's get this thing out of its box and see what we're working with again. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're actually doing a bit of a backtrack because a while back we did a video on smartphone projectors and it didn't go very well. Yeah, the people in the comments didn't really like us very much. So in an attempt to recover people's faith in this channel, which I'm pretty sure they didn't have anyway, we're going to check out once again the Deeply Projector. Or is it Projector by Deeply? Whichever sounds the least weird. So if you didn't see the short rundown we had on this projector in our last video, basically this is a tiny electronic projector which can do a native resolution of 240p, but it does support up to 1080p. Not particularly impressive, but still pretty good for the price. On average, this projector costs around £30, which is about $40. And I'm pretty sure this is just a basic shell that multiple companies use. You see quite a few of these on Amazon. When we bought this one, this was the only one on Amazon. Now there are a few with the same shell, but a different name attached to it. So I'm guessing it's the same projector. Can't say for certain though. Now, for those of you who are interested in seeing all the specs, I'm gonna put them up here. Here, 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 and here. Nah, I'm joking. I'm just going to put them all up here. So let's get this thing out of its box and see what we're working with. Again! And slides out. Box to one side. And ta-da! The projector that everyone's seen already. Here it is in its blue and white glory. Now, I will say again, I do like the design of this. I like the fact it's a compact projector with a little bit of style. Looks nice and neat. It's just an overall great design. Very compact. So let's have a quick whiz around this projector and see what features it has. We've got a micro SD input there alongside a micro USB, an AV input there as well as a headphone input. Then on this side, we've got the DC in, the on and off, HDMI in, and then your everyday USB. Also on the front, we've got a tiny speaker, which I imagine it isn't gonna let out the best sound, but we're gonna give it a go, see what it produces. Also quite handily on the bottom here, you've got a quarter inch thread, so you can put it on a tripod or a stand so you can maneuver it and you can get it over obstacles as well. So I've got a tiny tripod right here, so we're just going to attach that to the projector. Quickly screw this on the bottom as an example, pull out the legs and that's that's a pretty good job it's pretty back heavy as well and it's still managing to stand up all right and this is a really cheap tripod this is poundland material right here let's just quickly extend the legs it's actually pretty good for poundland bam there you go fully functioning that should have come with the projector if you ask me now this thing does have a built-in battery but in typical looted fashion we have forgotten to charge it so we're going to plug this thing into the wall which is lucky because it comes with its own charger there so we're just going to plug the ac adapter into the dc in and straight away the light is blinking so i'm guessing it's ready to go so we're just going to hit the on button which is just on the top here is it going I think it's got hey there it is so we've got the projector going nice and basic and as you can see already it's actually not that bad when it comes to brightness i mean this light is stupidly bright and still i can see it on the table it's not in focus but i can see something which is better than any other projector i have ever tried but admittedly i have only tried tatty crappy very bad projectors. Now the fan on this tiny projector isn't exactly subtle. You can hear it from quite far off. I'm not sure that even the speaker built in on this would be enough to cover up the humming. But obviously if you're not getting enough volume from the built in speaker, you can always plug in headphones or your own speakers via the headphone port at the back. So as I said, this thing has multiple inputs. So you can get loads of devices working on this thing. With the HDMI, you can get basically anything with a HDMI out. So that includes some tablets, game consoles, PCs. You can even use older consoles like the PS2 and the NC 64 via the AV cable slot there and luckily it even provides an AV cable adapter there so it makes it even easier for you to set that stuff up but the main thing I really want to get working is this as a smartphone projector if anything that's going to be the most handy thing for me it would be great just to have a tiny projector which I can take out wherever I am hook up my smartphone to it and just have it project but alas when we first tried this the cables which I got did not work at all despite saying they were compatible with my phone it turns out my phone cannot work with a projector sad sounds please fuck you samsung that's the one but other phones and tablets can connect up to this fine with just a hdmi adapter wire so if you're using like an iphone or anything along those lines you can connect this thing up 
easy and get it working straight away. But unfortunately for me, I have the Samsung Galaxy S7, which is a little bit harder to set up and anything beyond the Samsung Galaxy S5, I believe, is hard to set up with a projector. So what I've had to do is go out and purchase a Chromecast, which was so nicely suggested to us in the comment sections. So, so nicely. Thank you very much for helping us out there in the most kindest way ever. Thanks. The internet is lovely. So here we are with another unboxing. So the Chromecast is all plugged into the main. So we just put that into the HDMI in on the side of the projector. And I think we're ready to go. Let's get this thing set up, pointed at a white wall and show you what this thing can do. Man, we need to repaint this wall. So here we are all set up and ready to go. I went ahead and put the projector on the tripod just so it's a little bit higher so the projector doesn't get in the way of its own footage. So it's all clear for our main camera over here. I've got the remote that was included with the projector. Now it's your basic remote. You've got your pause and play, fast forward, rewind. You've then got mute, power off. It's simple. We've got a Google Home app all synced up with the Chromecast. We are ready to go. Let's turn off the lights and see how well this thing projects. Come on, 30 quid projector. Oh yeah, we've got side lights. Why do we get new things? So here it is, and all in all, I'm actually pretty impressed with first sights here. Considering that this is a 30 quid projector, this is a good looking image. Now, if you do get up close, you can see that it is projecting at 240p because there is a lot of pixelation going on here. It is by no means a high quality projection, but do bear in mind, it is a very cheap projector. Also for such a little projector, it is pumping out quite a lot of light. Like we've got this about one and a half meters away from the wall and it's making a fairly small projection right now. But I reckon you could pull this back like seven meters and get a relatively all right quality and a very big size screen. Honestly, not a bad start. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the YouTube app on the Chromecast and let's just pick a video and see how that looks. Bit of loading. And <laughs> what a great clip to start on it. Eh? Now I've only just really noticed that there is quite a bit of warping going on and that's mainly because we've got it on a tripod. The fact that it's tilted up, it's making it warp ever so slightly. So I look like I've got a ginormous egghead. So I'm just gonna point the projector down just a little bit and that is pretty much all of the warping gone. So now let's see how much volume we can get out of the projector's in-body speaker. So I'm just going to go onto my phone, rack up the volume to the highest. So now we can up the volume here with the remote. Obviously bass is completely non-existent. There's no real great quality sound coming out of this projector, but that's really expected isn't it but the volume that comes out of this thing is really not that bad especially considering it's such a tiny projector and obviously if you want higher quality sound as we said you can plug in external speakers or your headphones and instantly you've got higher quality audio now the main downfall of this projector for me is the fact that you can't see any detail in any of these shots like you can barely read finer text you can't see any detail on faces i think you're really going to struggle when it comes to reading subtitles on films i just don't think it's going to be possible when a projector is outputting such a low resolution you also have a few different picture profiles to choose from but all in all the colors they are looking good but the contrast no matter which one you pick looks pretty rubbish so what are my final thoughts on this 30 pound projector it's not bad. Honestly, you could do a lot worse than this little guy, that's for sure. Especially if you're just getting into this sort of tech and you just want to get something small to test out devices on, this is perfect. You can easily have this in a kid's bedroom, you can have it in your living room, you can have it in your office. It could literally be anywhere and completely 100% usable. If you're looking for a high quality projector which you can project in full HD, has great color, contrast, you can see all the detail you want, you're not gonna get that here. And let's be honest, for the price point, you're gonna be aware of that, aren't you? And with that, I think that's gonna be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like it, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell us what you thought of the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.